Well, I thought uh, those two teams battled uh, from start to finish at a very high level. Um, very, very proud of our guys and very, very impressed with Rutgers. And uh, they won some of the battles, we won some of the battles, but fortunately, we won the war. And uh, every guy contributed in one way or another. And uh, I'm very, very happy. Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, it's, you, you know, basketball is a very simple game. It breaks down to two things. One, put the ball in the basket. Two, keep the other team from putting the ball in the basket. And you have to work really, really hard at both. At the end of the game, everybody's exhausted. Nigel is a fantastic three-point shooter. He did not have his normal great shooting game tonight. He struggled in the first half to make a shot. But I told him at halftime, keep shooting. The chances are with guys like him and Isaiah, they can have a bad uh, period, you know, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or half. But by the end of the game, chances are everything is balanced out and they, they make big plays. And how was that matchup? That was interesting. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Um, but yeah, if you could talk about that matchup and then how the guards really came to the rescue when you guys were down by 11. Yeah, I, you know, that's like, uh, I'll, I'll use the expression, like two sumo wrestlers. <laughs> They're down on the low block in the paint, wrestling for every every inch of the court. And and Amari is, is a big time athlete, incredible length and jumping ability. And I think Norshad, you know, played him to a standstill. Oh, he's not as tall, but he's he's such a workhorse. He's a relentless worker. And our guards, on the other hand, when Bensley Joseph came in in the second half, everything changed. He was awesome. Defensively, he picked up our defense. Offensively, he got other guys involved. He made a couple of key baskets himself, a layup, a little a little jumper. And, you know, you don't have to score double figures to have a huge impact. You can do it in a lot of ways. He had a steal, a rebound, a block shot. How about the block shot to end the half? A uh, guy goes coast to coast, he's got a layup, and then all of a sudden he erases it, and they don't score to end the half. So tremendous effort on his part. And then, as I said, with Nigel, uh, he got off to a slow start in the first half, but when it came down to crunch time, and uh, he was clutch made a layup, he hit that three, he made some very good defensive plays, and Isaiah was just Isaiah. You know, he just does so many things well. And then Jordan Miller, oh man, he was like, the, there was like two stories there. One, he was fantastic, and two, he, he made some silly mistakes. You know, it's, I, I'll tell you a quick story before the season started. He's, he asked me the question, hey, if I get a rebound, or if I have the ball in the open court, is can I handle it and push it? And I, I asked him a simple question. Are you going to make a good decision or a bad decision? Are you going to turn it over or get an assist or a good shot? He says, no, I'm going to get an assist or a good shot. So I said, then do it. I'm not going to stop you from doing something you do well. And quite honestly, he does it very well every single day. So it's really, what do you, what do you call that when someone does some stuff that's not, not, not normal? uncharacteristically, he turned the ball over, went around his back, and it was a turnover. He dribbled the length of the court, and the guy stole it off him, and there was one more where he, he, he rushed one and ended up a turnover. But I'm not taking him out. The guy is great. He's a fantastic basketball player, defending, rebounding, sharing the ball, scoring, driving. I mean, you, know, you got to love him. Yeah, it was kind of interesting because at the timeout, late in the game, we called a timeout and we said, we're going to run a certain play. But if they go to the 2-3 zone, we're running this. So as a player, I'm telling you, that's a real challenge. You got to remember what we're in and then you got to read the defense as to what they're in and then execute it. And what ended up happening, 
They switched to the zone instead of the man to man. Uh, Norshad set a flare screen for Isaiah. They jumped to guard Isaiah, of course. Everybody does that. Norshad slipped that screen, and Nigel hit him. 15 foot jumper, nothing but net. Beautiful execution after a timeout. Yeah, we, we didn't use our, our bench as much tonight. Uh, that's something I, I desperately want to do. But, you know, it's, it's the game. I'm just trying to win the game. And when the game is over, we'll go back and look at it and see if we should have done anything differently. Coach, it's a Wednesday night, and it was a packed house here. The crowd was fantastic, wasn't it? After, after the game, my wife told me that uh, – the, the, the fans stood for like the last four or five minutes of the game. That was awesome. And, and honestly, it's been building towards that. That, that's, that shouldn't be a surprise to us now. It should be something we greatly appreciate and are, are very grateful for the support we're getting. The band was great, the cheerleaders, the dance team. We're really creating a home court advantage, and they're really our sixth man. Anything else? Coach, how important was it to get these two close games ahead of this first ACC game on Sunday? Yeah, yeah. Now we got to go on the road again. It's tough. You know, I'm, I'm really happy that we get to take tomorrow off to rest and recover so that we can prepare for Louisville on Friday and Saturday before we leave for Louisville. Because if this was a quick turnaround, uh, you know, that just would have made this really, really tough.